So as you guys may know, LR Full Power Frieza is scheduled to make his global debut in about two days from now. And in this video, I want to quickly go over the details for this card so you guys know exactly what he does. And then we'll also take a look at his banner on JP since that's most likely going to be the global banner too. And then finally, we'll watch the super attack animations since at least to me, that's a pretty big part of whether or not I want to summon for a unit. And then by the end of it all, I'm going to give you guys a little recommendation about what I think you should do with your stones as far as this unit is concerned and whether or not you should spend your hard-earned stones on his banner or save them for something bigger in the future. So without further ado guys, let's jump into it. Let's get it started with the Last Ditch Attack Full Power Frieza. He is a full power category lead, giving them key plus 4, HP, attack and defense plus 130%, or extreme STR types key plus 4, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. His super attacks are Death Slicer for the 12 key, and Nova Strike for the 18 key. The 12 key causes mega colossal damage while sacrificing 8% HP. Now on the surface that might seem pretty bad, but it does work well with his passive, which I'll get to in a second. And his 18 key greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. And then his passive is Rising and Rage. And as you can see, he basically gets stronger the closer you are to death, which is why I said that you losing 8% HP on the super is not necessarily a bad thing if you want to get the most out of this unit. So he starts off with key plus 2 and attack and defense plus 80%. And then he gets an additional key plus 1 and attack plus 10% when HP is 90% or less. And then an additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20% when HP is 70% or less. And then additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20% when HP is 50% or less. And then performs a critical hit plus an additional key plus 2 and attack plus 20% when HP is 30% or less. And these do stack as you get lower and lower in HP. So finally, if you get down to below 30% HP, you'll have a total boost of key plus nine, attack plus 150%, and defense plus 80%. His links are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Strongest Clan in Space, Big Bad Bosses, Over in the Flash, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power. And his categories are Planet Namek Saga, Full Power, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. So that's really all you need to know about this unit. And, okay, here's what I'll say. He is a very good unit. He is a very good unit, as all summonable LRs are, even the ones that people like to hate on a lot, like LR Trunks or LR Mighty Mask and so on and so forth, LR Bardock, for example. They're all good units. It's just some of them are better than others. And when you're comparing this guy to like Kale and Khalifa, for example, or even Goku and Frieza, uh, Gohan and Goten and all that stuff, he doesn't quite match up. He's not- you guys hear sirens? Anyways, getting back to my main point, he is a very good unit, but he's not the best LR out there, and I don't think he's really a must-have because he doesn't lead a new category. Um, he's not the greatest tank from what I can tell. He does hit very hard, but in order to get the most out of him, you have to be close to death, and also the fact that he loses 8% HP, or basically your team loses 8% HP every time the 12 key is used. Um, makes him pretty much a liability in like Super Battle Road and the Legendary Goku event, I guess. If you want to bring him, it doesn't really make sense. So uh, yeah, those are some factors to consider. He does hit very hard when you get to low HP, but sometimes it's just not worth it depending on what mode you're playing, right? So that is the unit right there. And then moving on to his banner on JP, this is what it looks like. And like I said, I think the global banner is going to be exactly the same, if not very, very similar. And there it is, a lot, a lot of featured SSRs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So yeah, pretty standard, 12 featured SSRs. And the one that you're looking for is this one right here, of course. Now, the thing with legendary summon banners is that they're never really great value for your stones. But for a legendary summon banner, I think this actually isn't too bad if you don't have a lot of the units, right? Like for example, these guys, uh, this Goku, this Frieza, this, this Goku, is Frieza, is Kaioken Goku. They're all very good units for non Dokkan Fest units. And um, this Golden Frieza is an extremely good tank. This Goku actually got a pretty good awakening as well. So, I mean, it's not too bad as far as legendary summon banners are concerned. But the thing is, when the main featured LR is not like one of the top tier, oh, I don't want to say like tier, but it's not one of the best LRs in the game. I, I would say he's not in the top 5, maybe not even top 10, so uh, that's also something to consider. So at the end of the day, I think a big part of this decision is basically whether or not you love Frieza, because 
If I'm being honest, for my stones, I just feel like there's not enough here to justify the summons. But that being said, I will be doing at least one summoning video, not because I necessarily want to summon on this banner, but because the YouTube channel, right? So for content, I most likely will do one video of like 200 to 300 stones. But if I didn't have this channel, I probably would skip this banner. That's just me. Anyways, uh, that is the banner right there, guys. And finally, before we give the final recommendation, I feel like I already did kind of, but uh, let's take a look at these animations. And of course, credit to DBZ World for posting uh, them on YouTube. And without further ado, guys, let's check it out. So this is the 12 key super, the one that makes you lose 8% HP. And it's very interesting the style they went with for these animations. Um, as you can see in the beginning, Frieza looks like more 3D than normal, I guess. I think they were trying something different, which I don't necessarily like. I like the fact they were trying something different. I like the experimentation, but I don't really like the style uh, they went with. And I mean, it was, it's not bad. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It doesn't look too bad. It's just um, kind of weird. It's a little bit different than what we're used to. The 18 key is great, though. Let's watch it again one more time. So I'll show you guys what I mean. See, he looks he's different. It looks like a different art style. So that's the 12 key, really cool. You got the two um, the discs, I forgot the exact name for them. And then you see the slashes across the screen, explosion, pretty nice. And then this is the 18 key, he goes buff, charges at you, and um, basically pushes you into the middle, the core of the earth, I guess, big lava explosion. And he watches, that's it. So. Uh, pretty solid animations overall, for sure. Very, very good animations. And if you guys are like me, then animations are a big determining factor for whether or not you want to summon for a unit, right? So, um, yeah, definitely great animations for the LR Full Power Frieza. And you guys already know the details, you saw the banner. So my final recommendation at this point, honestly guys, is to skip the banner if you can. If you guys are huge Frieza fans like Goresh out there, then you gotta summon, you're not even... You don't really even need to watch this video, right? Because you already know you want to summon, you gotta summon for this full power Frieza. But if you're just an average Frieza fan, you know, you like him, but you don't love him, and you're maybe also free to play, maybe uh, you have a limited source of stones. If you pay for stones, then it's not as important to save, but um, especially if you're free to play, I would say skip this banner straight up because there's just not enough value, and he's just not you know, on the same level as some other units that are coming around the corner, like LR, Kale, and Khalifla, or even the Tech Trunks and AGL Zamasu Dual Dokkan Fest, or even Physical Piccolo, man. I think those all have better value, and I would save my stones for those banners as opposed to wasting them, not waste, but um, spending them on this LR Full Power Frieza banner. So that's just my opinion, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you plan to do. And that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found it informative in some way. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.